I kind of want to do a vlog, I feel like. So I'm going to do a vlog today. <laughs> um, I just finished editing my last video on here. Uh, it took me all morning. But it's done. Thank the Lord. So now I'm making some mac and cheese. My husband's about to come home soon. Josh, if you don't know his name. Um, I'd like to say, oh, that's not a good angle. <laughs> I'm making some mac and cheese. And I think I'm gonna cook some, what is that? I think I'm gonna cook some burgers. Yeah, we're gonna go with burgers today. I'm gonna cook some burgers, all right. Burger time. Okay, so I just went ahead and did a little change. Forgive me, I look like I crawled out of a cave, but it is what it is. You gotta work with me with the cameras too, because uh, I don't have a tripod. I had one at one point and I got rid of it because I was like, I'm not gonna need this. I need it. Um, this is so difficult to show. Okay, did I do it? All right, so putting the cheese in. And I'm gonna just pour it in there. I made some mac and cheese. I didn't really eat much today because, like I said, I was editing and I get really distracted. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I feel like my coffee kicked in really late because I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. probably because I didn't do anything all day. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but like, do you get really distracted and then just like forget to eat? Because like I do all the time. My husband's always getting on it, on me about it. He's always telling me that I don't eat enough, which I don't. I don't eat enough. I need to eat more. And probably healthier stuff, not mac and cheese. But you know, it is what it is. This is life. This is how life is. I'm just starting this mac and cheese. Why does it take so long? What the heck? I just feel like talking today. Do you guys have like days where you feel like talking more? I feel like I'm asking a lot of questions to like think. You can't answer me right now. You can answer me in the comments, so. I'm probably gonna have some more coffee because I have, I have a cleaning thing tonight with my mom, so. Excuse me. Oh, mac and cheese. I could probably use some more cheese in there, honestly. Both good, so I'm fine. Sometimes you don't realize how hungry you are until you like, eat. <laughs> Is this now a mukbang? Is this officially a mukbang? Oh, I went to a bachelorette party. Sorry, I'm like with my mouth full. I went to a bachelorette party the other day. And uh, you know how like they have those temporary tattoos and a lot of the times they, they do like bridal themed ones. So this one kind of came off a little bit. It says, you can't really say it's iridescent. Uh, it says bride tried, but it started coming off a little bit. But this one, I have flamingos. This has been on my arm since Saturday night. It is Tuesday, Wednesday, it's Wednesday. And it won't come off, it doesn't come off. All right, I'm gonna start making these burgers so that my husband has something to eat when he comes home. <laughs> I figured I'll show you how I'm making my burgers. Bow, 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 bow. All right. I don't know how exactly how to film this. My filming setup is very janky, like I was saying. It's on a protein powder bottle right now and um, being held there by a spoon, so. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. <laughs> My mom gave me this Roma Italian sausage the other day. And my husband loves Italian sausage. I don't like sausage. Um, so I'm just gonna do it in his. But I figure what if I, <laughs> we're just gonna do this. <laughs> what if I made burgers and then put um, some sausage in his? I feel like that's good, you know what I'm saying? Oh, also, another thing you should know about me, I follow recipes very loosely. I've looked up recipes before for burgers and um, I kind of have an idea of how to make them and I used to make them all the time. So I just kind of wing it usually and they usually end up pretty good. So I know we need some eggs. I got some eggs. I got my very large ground beef from Aldi, um, the Italian sausage. And then I like to use some Worcestershire sauce in uh, the, the, the burgers. I'm gonna get a bowl. And like I said, I'm only using the Italian sausage in 
some of the burger meat. So I guess I'll get two bowls and one will be my bowl and the other one will be my husband's bowl. If you are a vegetarian and don't like meat, I don't recommend you watch this because I am cooking meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the sausage out. Oh, also I guess I should open up the, the little casings, right? Can't you just like squeeze it out? This might be gross to some people. I don't like grossing people out. This is kind of grossing me out though. Is there a better way to do this? I guess we should just do all of them, right? This is where a recipe would come in handy, but like I said, don't use recipes. So, oh, there we go. Just pull it out. Wonderful. So you just kind of stick your finger in it and just pull it out. Okay, so I got my sausage in here. And I'm gonna open up this ground beef. Ah, very unnecessarily large knife. <laughs> I'm gonna take probably a little bit more than half because honestly, I, like I said, I don't really eat that much. So I think we're gonna just kinda give me a little less. And then we're just gonna put this bowl off to the side. We got our bowl of meat. We're gonna my mac and cheese. Some salt, pepper, the Chicago style steak seasoning, garlic, some onion, some Worcestershire sauce. If I was just making these for me, I'd probably put real onions in them. But I think my husband's kind of, that's not like his favorite thing. So we're just going to kind of eyeball stuff. So that was just a little bit of a drizzle of some Worcestershire sauce. We're going to salt it pretty heavily. Well, actually no, because the sausage is in it. So we're going to salt it. Maybe it's just, just a little bit. And some pepper. These spices come out really like quickly. That's why I'm pouring them in my hand first. So some of the Chicago style steak seasoning. I just kind of shake a shake. I don't know how much is too much. There's never enough. And then we take some, this is the garlic powder. And then same thing with the onion powder. And then I'm gonna crack an egg in there, maybe two. Maybe I should do two eggs. I feel like it works better, so I'm just gonna go for it. Wow, this is really cold. To get better burgers, you're supposed to let the meat kind of sit out for like a half hour before cooking them, but I'm just too impatient for that. So I think the only thing it does is it helps retain its moisture a little bit better. I try not to use this hand too much because I have my ring on. It's probably not the best idea. Now I'm gonna get my very large pan ready. So I like to use my big pan because I can cook more on it, of course. And, uh, and I just like my big pan. So I'm gonna turn the heat on to probably about medium heat or so. And then I'm gonna use my olive oil. Just whatever you want, avocado oil, you know, whatever. This is just the way I cook. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, don't watch, I guess. <laughs> when I make my burgers, I'll show you over here so you can actually see. This is actually a little bit bigger than I usually make them, but they do shrink down as I've come to learn. That sounds so gross. <laughs> Got the little sausage meats in there. So I'm just gonna flatten them in my hand like that, see? And then once they're on there, you don't want to flatten them because that also messes with the moisture. And then I just kind of put it in there and move the oil around with the actual burger. It's just easier that way. Smooshin. This is a big boy. <laughs> We're gonna take a little bit of big boy off. Try to do a little flat so they cook quicker. sausage in there. Hopefully that adds some a little bit of flavor. Hopefully he likes it. I'm sure he'll like it. This is mine. And 
we're just pretty much doing the same thing as I did with the other one, just minus the sausage. So I'm going to put a little bit more salt in this one. The sausage has a lot of salt in it. Babies are coming alive over there. They're looking good. Probably going to over season this one a little bit. I'm just going to use one egg for mine because mine's a lot smaller of a batch. and I'm just going to stick it back over here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and flip them. They're looking like they're brown enough, especially this guy in the middle here. Oh, that's beautiful. Do you see that? Look at that. And my pan is, like I said, very large, so I kind of like to move them around the pan a little bit. My pan is not evenly heated, as you can tell. This one is way browner than this one is. I'm just going to like I said, move them around the pan a little bit, make sure everyone has a lot of heat. Alright, they're looking pretty good. So they're getting done in the middle. Definitely some underdone ones. Okay, so they've been on probably about 10 minutes. We're going to do a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and take them all. some of this uh, oil. The burgers won't crisp up right if I don't. Go back with the clean, well not clean, but you know, a pan. <laughs> and I'm probably not gonna put any more oil on the pan because there's a lot of oil already on here still. So. Smush them down. I'm sure you've all probably made burgers before. I don't really need to explain, I guess, but maybe you haven't made burgers. I don't know. If you haven't made burgers, here you go. Maybe this helps a little bit. If not, hopefully it's just entertaining for the, to watch my non-head self make burgers. <laughs> One day, guys, I'll get a better filming set up. You won't just have to watch my torso half the time. The cooking torso. <laughs> the floating torso. Ooh. Also, watch out for the oil because it's hot. It just pops on me. Pop, pop. So, I'm not going to show you the whole cooking process on those burgers since i just showed you on these burgers and it's not a burger video but like i guess it kind of is now um i wanted to <laughs> i hope you can hear me over the very loud sizzling over here i'm wearing Josh's shirt right now just to do it i cut the neckline out I hate stuff around my neck. Look pretty. Look at them. Very yummy. I'm not gonna try one because, like I said, I don't like sausage. I do think I'm gonna make some more coffee, so I figured I'll film, I'll film the coffee. I'm kind of particular with my coffee. Here we go. Here's the exact science of my coffee. If you've ever wondered, if you've ever wondered, hmm, I wonder how Christina makes their coffee. This is how. I'm just gonna take a spoon, of course, you know. I love this stuff. Coffee Mate Coffee Creamer. You can get this big one from Costco for like $6. It's definitely worth it. I go through this in like two weeks. I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna do a different angle. Oh, I'm the torso again. The floating torso again. I'm gonna go ahead and take, that's a lot, just kidding. Like about three, tablespoons of this stuff. Okay. It's a lot. It looks like a lot. Oh, Hubby just got home. And then this stuff from Aldi. It's uh, their vanilla protein powder. It's really good. I try to put protein and stuff where I can because I don't, I don't eat enough, like I said. So I only do a little bit of that. It also adds a little bit of flavor. This is also from Aldi. It's their, uh, their version of Stevia but I just have the big bag of it. I just shake a little bit off and then put it in. How should I film this? Let's see. 
Alright, I have a variety pack of coffee, so I'm just gonna pick uh, some coffee. My husband likes dark roast, and I like medium roast usually. So we got uh, a variety pack so we can both have stuff that we like. So I'm gonna use this Newman's Own Organic Medium Roast, which I've used before. I actually really like Newman's Own. Let it fly. Ooh. Put it on the strong setting and then the 10 ounce setting. I start mixing it because the protein powder doesn't actually um, dissolve super easily. So I kind of have to like work on it a little bit, which is fine because it tastes good. All right, let me go let my hubby in. making my coffee so like I said the protein powder is a little hard to like dissolve so I kind of just push it up against the cup and like smush it and then it's dissolved so <laughs> and then I take my favorite cup I have these square cups they're a little weird to drink out of if you don't know how to drink out of them but I just drink out of them from the side then I get my ice we don't have an ice maker on our fridge so have these silicone ones. Um, I got these from Amazon. I like them. They're just a little annoying because you have to refill them. But they just fold and stuff and they're a lot easier to get ice out than like traditional ice cube trays. Just filling up my ice or my, my cup with my ice. I'm really good for some water right now too. Diverse things to be honest. Good, good, okay. So, just gonna stir it in there. And I get my whipped cream. Um, this whipped cream is from Aldi, and it's seriously the best whipped cream ever. It's like super full, it's kind of empty right now because I used to have it. I have a new one in there, but it's super full when you get it and it lasts forever. I have this coffee every day, sometimes twice a day, and this lasts me probably about a good month. The ones that you get from like the name brand ones and stuff do not last me that long. Like I said, this is about to run out, so. Still got a little bit of life. Now don't at me, but I have plastic straws. I do have metal straws as well, but I have plastic straws. I've bought false plastic straws. So I'm gonna use the plastic straws, okay? Don't come at me. There's my coffee. Yep. All right, now I'm gonna make the rest of my burgers. So, all right. Oh, if you are wondering, my husband is home. He's downstairs taking a shower. He's probably not ready to be on camera yet. He doesn't really like being on camera and like on the internet and stuff. So I don't know if he will be, but maybe one day, we'll see. Cooking, I'm going to clean my very messy living room <laughs> with my little puppy. My little puppers, little Dante. Okay. okay, so it's not perfect, but um, it's <laughs> straightened up a little bit more hangy. Um, usually I try to do it before Josh gets home, but like I said, I was editing all day and food kind of took, <laughs> kind of took priority over the cleaning. So, um, yeah, Dante tends to, to make the room a wreck. I actually just, uh, vacuumed, I think yesterday, maybe even the day before. I think yesterday though. 
and it already needs to be vacuumed again because he destroys his toys and <laughs> gets the stuffing and stuff everywhere. He is tearing up everything, everything. I always thought it was funny that I wanted to do vlogs because <laughs> uh, I don't really do anything in my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is this is what I do. This is what I do. I don't have like a job, but I do clean um, with my mom um, a couple days a week. So tonight I have a job that I'll be going to, but that's pretty much the only time I leave my house. But yeah, I don't really do anything. This is what I do, but like, I, I wanna do vlogs. I wanna do more vlogs. I just need stuff to talk about, I guess. So if you guys have anything to talk about, you want me to talk about, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, guys. I just woke up not too long ago, so I'm looking a little bit of a mess. I haven't brushed my hair or anything and take a shower, so don't mind me. Started a vlog yesterday, and I think this is what I'm gonna have to do is do like weekly vlogs, because I just don't do enough interesting stuff in the day to like really constitute a day vlog. My hair looks gross right now. Well, this is real life, guys. Here it is. You might hear the dishwasher running in the back and my kitchen is a mess right now. But I'm just finishing making up my coffee. I already put everything else in it except for the protein powder. I think I left you yesterday with uh, coffee, so I like coffee. Gotta make breakfast. I don't know what to make though. I'm very hungry. donut shop coffee today which I've also had this one before and I really like this one it's a very good and nutty flavor I don't even really know what that means coffee does have somewhat of a nutty flavor because it's like a plant is that a really dumb thing to say it is isn't it I'm not making for breakfast guys This might be a weird breakfast, but I think I'm just gonna eat this leftover chili that I made the other day. I figured I'd show you my dog's disaster he made yesterday, last night. Mr. Dante made a mess. I swear, I can clean this living room every day, every day, and he destroys it. Right, Dante? Right, Dante? You just destroy it every day, every day, yes. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today is cleaning up the the living room. Today's kind of a cleaning day. Any day that I'm like, I don't have something to do is a cleaning day. Yesterday was supposed to be a cleaning day and Monday was supposed to be a cleaning day, but I ended up literally just editing my video um for those two days so i didn't get anything done i kind of like cleaned up a little bit vacuumed and i think i cleaned the stove off the other day but that's about it so i figured i would include that in a vlog if you guys like this let me know and if not then i'll think of something else to do or i just won't do vlogs because like i said i know i'm kind of boring so maybe you're kind of boring too and we can be boring together you can just hear me go blah 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 okay so i'm now in cleaning mode i put my hair up actually it looks a mess hold on let's fix that i guess it doesn't really matter what it looks like does it it was flopping about too much i'm gonna start in the living room for the cleaning i don't like this angle what is this? oh hi oh hi oh yes okay okay my soon-to-be sister-in-law got me some um rug gripper tape because i've been having issues with my front doormat surfaces must be thoroughly clean and dry cut into strips to fit outline of mug rug or mat firmly press strips to floor liner side up in the direction most often traveled they're sticky 
Okay, so this is the wrong in question over here. I really need to vacuum, so I'm gonna... Ugh, wow, that was a lot worse than I was expecting. How am I supposed to do this? So I can just do it like this. Measure it out like this, like over top. The real test will be vacuuming it. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna try it. There's a little film. That's what I got, that's what it looks like right now. Okay, so next thing is I'm gonna clean this table off. Wow, that looks so much better. That was really dirty. But in order to see my um, my entertainment center properly, I have to open the door and let some sunlight in. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Look at that. Very dusty. I really need a Swiffer, but I do not have a Swiffer, so I'm just using a microfiber cloth. <laughs> center looks much better. It was really dusty. Look at all that.
beautiful. And then I did in here. And I even plugged in my little Christmas lights. So. I think that's all I'm gonna do up here for now. But right now I need to do some laundry pretty bad. And I need to clean some, oh. <laughs> I need to clean some rags so I'm going to get a bag and then put the rags in there and then we'll go downstairs okay I'm in the laundry room I'm gonna go ahead and throw these rags in the washing machine floor in the bathroom <laughs> probably uh do like a quick clean of the, the bathroom it's definitely a little dirty in here Hey guys, so this is uh, filmed days after the video that you guys just watched, <laughs> but I am awful at outros. I always forget to do them. So, um, okay, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, love you guys. See you next time. Okay, bye.